guys, so here I am back with an update video on how my bowl pythons are doing. As some of you might remember, two of my bowl pythons had a respiratory infection and I've been treating them for two weeks with an antibiotic called Batril. With Noel, I've seen a bit of improvement. Uh, I've done that with the, uh, with the other bowl pythons as well. But unfortunately, she still has a lot of slime around her mouth and she should be doing better by now. So I contacted the vet again and she told me to come back in. I have her with me and I'm gonna show you what a respiratory infection looks like so you can see for yourself. I don't know if you can see her mouth. There we are. She's gasping for air. Many snakes do this thing where they open their mouth and they do it to stretch their jaws. But she's doing this very, very often and she has liquid like slime around her mouth and I can hear that she has trouble wheezing. She is looking better than she did the first time, but she's not well. She's definitely still ill. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and see what else we can do. Right now, what I've done so far at home is I've given her a bigger bowl of water to just create a little bit more humidity and I've turned up the heat. There, you can see. Can you see the slime? Yeah, it's gone quite bad, so it's quite urgent. And I will be going very, very soon. Uh, I need to call them today. I am in contact with my vet, uh, and I need to call today to, to book a, a time. As you can see, the bait drill didn't work. Now, I did some research, and I talked with some other people who was owning bull pythons, and they all told me that more often than not, Batril doesn't work and actually it can do some internal damage. I don't know about that power, but uh, everyone that I've spoken to has been telling me that the Batril simply doesn't work. So it's kind of like not only a waste of money, but a waste of like precious time and my poor snake is ill to do this uh, two weeks of Batril. I hope that we will find uh, a different kind of antibiotic to make sure that she's gonna be well again. Like I've said earlier, you bought the snake, it's your responsibility. If it gets sick, you make sure you do everything you can to get it healthy and I'm gonna do that. It is expensive, but that's how it is when you purchase an animal and you have to, to know that. So that's what I'm gonna do. See if I can get some closer, uh, closer screen caps for you so you can really see how she looks. This is the gasping for air, like you can see, opening up. This, re this respiratory infection creates so much slime, like, it's kind of like a cold, I think you can, you can use that image. Like, you and me, we're people, if we get a cold, we can blow our nose or we can cough up the slime. The snake can't do that, so all the slime just kind of builds up on the lungs and everywhere, and, and they can't breathe, and that's why you, you get this, this, this hissing noise, and you're not in doubt when they have a respiratory infection. It's, it's like nothing you've you've heard. Well, well. Off to the bed we go. Yeah, here you go.